So I got this, uh, this Vornado fan here. I don't know if you can really see it that well. Let me put it on the floor so you guys can see it a little better. This is a um, Vornado Model 533 um, fan here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it on a white surface so you guys, so the uh, so you can actually make it out. So there it is. Uh, this is a Vornado Model 533 um, room circulator. I think they call it a whole room circulator fan. Uh, and I bought this because this is getting, it's not enough. Um, this blows a crap load more air than that does on high setting. And that's pretty sad. But, um, yeah, I just got this today. Here's the box. Yeah, whole room air circulator. So it's supposed to, uh, has this vortex circulation design. You're supposed to be able to, like, put the fan completely level uh, so the air's blowing up and you can put a balloon in it and it'll, like, stay there, which is kind of cool. I don't have a balloon, but I might try that someday. Moves air up to 70 feet. I don't know about that, but, you know, it's still a pretty decent fan. Uh, I can definitely feel the air from all the way over here. Uh, it's not very strong, so I don't know about the whole 70 feet thing, but maybe, like, maybe just a little bit, like, maybe not to the point where it's, where you can feel it, but it, it does indeed circulate the air, and it has cooled my room down a lot. Uh, I've been using it all day, and it's cooled it down probably 5 degrees, which is what they say it'll do on the box. Uh, so this fan has a pretty interesting design, as with all Vornado fans, um, where there's actually a little ring in the back, as you can see, right back there. It takes in air like a certain way. Um, and then there's also another ring here, so it creates an air duct. And apparently these, this grill on the front is also part of the vortex design, so it just gives one big, you know, vortex of air, and then it, you know, spreads out. It's supposed to come back into the back of the fan, circulate all the air in the room. It's supposed to be really efficient, and I think it is because it had, like I said, it has definitely cooled my room down a ton. Um, so yeah, here it is. It's just, you know, black. Uh, there's not really much I can say about it other than it does tilt uh, considerably, you know, up and down. So, yeah, you're supposed to be able, if you do that, it'll uh, let, you can put a balloon on it. I'm going to try that someday, but uh, I need to buy balloons first, but yeah. Uh, so it tilts. Uh, it's got a three-speed Whoops, it's got a three-speed dial right there, uh, so not quite as nice as a uh, variable speed dial, but, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, I usually just run it on the second or third speed if it's really hot. Uh, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate all three speeds right now. So I'm going to turn it on the lowest speed first. So it's pretty damn quiet. Turn off my other fan that's pretty quiet and it moves a good amount of air for being on the low setting so that's very decent that's almost that's almost silent i can't really hear it that well so and then we can demonstrate the second setting so that gets that begins to be audible uh, and it moves a very good amount of air And then we have the third setting, which, I warn you, it's, it's loud. Well, not loud, but it's powerful. Like, holy crap, that moves a lot of air. Uh, this fan is supposed to be able to deliver up to 293 CFM, so... Yeah, very powerful fan. It's supposed to be much more powerful than, than this big old fan, which I believe um, these are probably the most over-engineered fans there are, besides the like the Dyson Air or whatever. That's engineered in a different way. This, this, is, an, bleh, this is engineered for performance. So, dang, look at that. Like, it's a really good fan. And my room is about a steady 85 most of the time. But I was able to get it down... To at least 82 with this so I like it it's definitely a very nice fan and I just usually have it on top of my set-top box here 
And I usually have it angled that way, so let's go ahead and adjust it again. So we have that, and it's going over there. So, let's see, to adjust the tilt, and we'll turn it back up because it's getting kind of warm here. So, that is my Vornado Model 533, uh, you know, personal little fan there. Comes with a five year warranty, too. That's that is pretty damn cool. So, if it if it's defective or whatever, within five years, I can just get a new one. Now, this fan cost about $55, I think, and there's the information and stuff. They make a lot of good claims, as you can see here. Like, that's supposed to be a regular fan, and that's supposed to be this fan. So, I kind of, I actually believe that because it does cool my room down a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, again, that is my Vornado Model 533 fan. Thanks for watching.